hello welcome back to my channel if you are seeing my face for the first time consider to subscribe share this video with your loved ones and who knows this might help you change your life we are in a series where we are talking about um abraham maslow so today we are going to talk about how you can use your self-esteem as level number four to land a job abroad stay tuned hello my name is Mboi. i am a nurse i work and live in uk i've been in uk for two years plus and we are talking about abraham maslow who is a psychologist and he has a theory about hierarchy of needs so they are presented in a pyramid mm -hmm. so we are going to talk about level number four which is about self-esteem and how you can use it in job hunt Right, there are a few things that you can use, but these ones are the pressing ones. And they might help you land the perfect job in UK or anywhere else that you're looking outside your own country. You can even use them to apply uh, for jobs locally, but I know back home in Lesotho is still a challenge with job hunt, of which we will discuss this when we are talking about uh, self-actualization right okay point number one so when you apply for a job you always are going to send a cv so when you are using a cv you need to be smart on what you present on that two page document or even one page document that will eventually attract whoever is looking at it to make sure that they are going to offer you an interview so the first thing that you do you need to be able to showcase your accomplishment and achievements emphasize specifically what you have achieved i think i have a video on how you can present a cv that can lend you a job in the uk i used the same concepts it might be luck but i want to believe that the way i presented my cv also contributed so put more emphasis on your achievements and accomplishments, right? So when I was doing my general nursing, I, I passed top of my class and I was presented with a, an award. Um, this is the award. <laughs> so this award, trust me, I always emphasize this award when I apply for a job. It is there in my CV. It's part of my achievements. I also received an award when I was doing my midwifery and it was about clinical experience. Yes, I was chosen as the best clinical experience, the best in clinical experience amongst my colleagues. So this is the award and I'm also inputting this in my CVs. So all your accomplishments, your achievements, put more emphasis on it. If you have to make a small paragraph, do that to write an emphasis on how you were selected on that achievement and why you were selected right that will put you in a better space and out singles you in many people that applied or those that were selected for uh shortlisting and you might be pulled out of that Another thing that you can do is to highlight your certifications outside your qualification. Let's say, for example, I know when I was still doing HIV clinical nursing, I was trained in tuberculosis. I was also trained in cervical cancer specifically for those specific illnesses. And I had certification in those, put more emphasis in those kind of certification in your cv this will make sure this will make you your credibility more stronger when you are selected number two when you job hunt look for roles that will eventually give you chance for development like when you apply for a job in uk you already know that you're going to be a band five nurse if you are applying as a nurse 
and you need to make sure that you can develop your position into a next level like being band six band seven band eight band nine and so on and so forth this can be presented in the job offer they will show you that um we are expecting you to be open for development you can be appointed to be a, a senior nurse in your unit or you can be appointed to go to school and attain more knowledge in that particular area that you will be working let's say you are hired as an icu nurse but you did not do icu nursing you will have to go back and do intensive care as a nurse and then you will move the, up the hierarchy and be maybe band six or band seven after you are qualified so when you look for a job when you hunt for a job look for a job that will give you performance upgrade also you have to also know that there would be incentives pertaining your performance some people don't like to go back to school but they perform very well in their roles and that should be um somehow compensated in this way when you are presented with the money the figure or potential salary you need to ask or you need to know whether there is performance um related upgrades like if you perform very well you are going to be rewarded or if there is a certain check or anything like that but you have to be in a position to be able to identify jobs that can give you an incentive based on your performance or the jobs that will give you opportunity to go back to school or model your position into a better position this means you can look into joining uh, for us as nurses it's easier but other professions i know it's not easy but for us you can try to look into going for university hospitals in in that way you know you'll be around learning groups all the time and you'll need to model your knowledge too so if you look for a job in that manner you know you are going to be number three choose for companies that in, have um, inclusion like they have a broader diversity they are not looking into skin color they are not looking into gender they are not looking into age i know in uk diversity is superb so but you have to be sure of that by going into the website of the company that you are applying to look into the setup who are employed how is the company uh, staffed is does it show inclusive inclusivity and diversity if not you need to query that because let's say you come in uk you come from uh, abroad like you come from africa you are going to work in uk uk is a white man's land even though there are so many immigrants there are so many africans there are so many asians there are philippines indians like there are so many people in this country but initially it is a white man's country so when you look into job hunting look whether the company that you're looking into is diversified because one thing for sure i struggled when i came in uk the place where i work it was mainly people who grew up in wales and the accent my darling <laughs> i struggled with the accent it's english they speak pure english but let me tell you accent it was really hard for me to um soften in with the accent it took me more than six months to actually be able to hear properly what people are saying at workplace in social places in the buses in the shopping center like around everywhere remember wales is bilingual so they speak english and welsh and the welsh accent my darling 
so you need to choose some place that you know you'll be able to blend in smoothly and be able to confidently boost your esteem because immediately when you get into job and you lose your self-esteem you're not going to perform well your confidence will be crushed so better look for a company that has an inclusivity in it and diversity self-esteem is something really challenging so it goes well with personality again well what i can tell you is before you go for an interview record yourself take your phone put it in front of you draft questions ask someone to ask those questions or you can read the questions and answer them through the camera and see how you perform because trust me when you are under interview sessions the anxiety levels will crush you then somehow you are being interviewed by people who don't speak your own language or even though they we may be speaking your language english which is mainly spoken in almost every country the accent might be difficult for you to understand but at least if you practiced ahead your self-esteem will put you into a better position of being confident enough to combat your anxiety and be able to answer the questions throughout the interview and you will also be able to ask your own questions because remember previously i said when you are being interviewed prepare your own questions this shows that you know what you are doing you have been you have made your assignment you searched about the company you know about their vision you know about their mission statement you know everything about this company by far the one that is presented on their website so you have to prepare take this camera i know you have a phone that has a camera record yourself that will boost your self-esteem and once your self-esteem has been boosted you can land a job through confidence that i assure you <laughs> even if you may answer the question wrongfully your confidence might cloud whoever is interviewing you so try as much as possible to practice and boost your own self-esteem while at it you also have to showcase your ability to be a team member a team player you also have to showcase your ability to problem solving and like if the position that you're applying for you are going to be a leader in any way because um as a nurse a band five nurse you are a leader in a shift it might be when you're working in hospital there are other band six band seven nurses ahead of you but still you will be the leader of the shift because if you are a nurse there will be carers there will be senior carers there will be uh, cleaners and so on and so forth you are still a leader so you have to know that you need to showcase your problem self problem solving skill soft skills or rather the common skills that everyone including their cvs make sure that you present them very well when you are being interviewed showing that you are able to do, to solve problems because that would be brought to you by the by the interviewer and they will ask questions that needs you to showcase your problem solving skills so you have to be smart in this regard lastly you have to connect with other professionals um like remember when i said when you are at workplace you don't have a prof uh, you don't have a, a friend but you can be able to show your professionalism manner by connecting with other health professionals or other employees this this means working harmoniously with people ask thank people talk to them chat sing together take pictures but know the limits know where to stop know when to say no just be yourself but be able to connect people together if you have a team that is connected trust me your shift will always be lovely if you are working shifts if you are not working shifts but you are at workplace people know when you are at work you are always 
together you are planning things together you ask people for their opinions you validate their opinions or if they there is something wrong that has been done show that this is wrong let's try to do the, this way in future integrate talk to people this is teamwork your self-esteem will be on top because if people are happy when you are working then you are going to be confident that you are doing your job properly so this is abraham maslow's way of helping us to showcase our skills and also be able to boost our self-esteem and confidence thank you very much for watching this video this far consider to subscribe share this video with your other people who are looking into working abroad this is a psychologist opinion i'm just breaking it down into my own opinions thank you very much i'll see you in my next upload Bye bye